Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video. And today we're gonna open up some packs from the 1990-91 Upper Deck uh, inaugural hockey set. Uh, at this point in time, when they released it, it really was um, uh, just tops and OPG. Um, I guess what, in the 89-90 year, there were some uh, other sets like um, like pro set and score, like the boxes we have on the screen here. Um, I suppose those were from the 89-90 year. Um, but yes, this was the first year that Upper Deck made cards. And uh, the box I have here is actually the low series. So um, uh, unfortunately, we're not gonna find a Pavel Bure or a uh, Sergei Fedorov uh, young gun card. But um, there are a bunch of uh, other rookies we could find in here, like, uh, well, like Yarmir Yager and uh, Matt Sundin, Mike Medano, Jeremy Roenick, Ed Belfour. So there's uh, a good number of uh, uh, nice rookies we could potentially find in here. Uh, this was uh, one of actually several of these boxes that I uh, found in my many trips to my father's um, in recent time. This box was opened, although... You know, I actually didn't count the packs, but it's uh, it's fairly full. I don't know if it's actually a completely full full box, but um, yeah, like I said, this box is uh, fairly full. So uh, you know, we'll do some of these. Um, I don't know what I what do I got here? I got five. Yeah, five packs is probably pretty good. And, uh, we'll see if we can find something interesting in here. All right, so see if these are as difficult to open as uh, the packs are that they do today. All righty, let's see. And we got a Mike Ridley on the back, and I'm sure these are going to be all mixed up because that's what Upper Deck would do on the old ones, or even the ones um, for the first several years. All right, so we have Doug Brown of the Devils. And this is what the backs of these look like. And you'll notice up here, I believe that Upper Deck was the first one to make cards that they claimed were counterfeit proof. And we got a uh, Dave Manson of the Blackhawks, Donald Dufresne. I don't know a whole lot about him. This looks uh, like it would be a rookie card. Uh, we have the Jennings Trophy winner. The Boston Bruins, Jan Eriksson, the Rangers, Doug Bodger, Pat Verbeek, he was a solid player. He had a he had at least one 40 goal season. And this was one, actually only had a couple of them. We had one with the Devils and this one was uh, with the Whalers. Eric Weinrich, Kevin Hatcher, Jeff Cortnall, Bob Essenza wearing that awesome jersey. And Mike Ridley, who we mentioned, he was the last card in the pack. All right, so nothing, um, nothing too jaw-dropping in that first pack there. I think Curtis Joseph is a rookie that we could find. All right, so we have a Brett Hull. That's a nice find. Uh, Brian Bradley. And we have a rookie team card of Jeff Smith. The uh, Lady Bing of Brett Hull. I guess this was like a subset within the set. And we have another draft pick card here of uh, John Slaney. Oh, we have an Ed Belfour, very nice. Very, very nice. All right, that's pretty cool. That is a very nice find here. Of the Hall of Famer. Well, at this point, it was a Hall of Famer to be. We will definitely prop him up here. Let's try to put him somewhere where we can actually see the card. All right. 
That is a super nice find there. All right, our next one is Rob Stauber. And I was just gonna say, these cards have been pretty good, not mixed up too much, and then we find one there. And, uh, Tomas Sandstrom, he was a good player. You know, I actually, I liked the Kings jerseys when they had the silver numbers and lettering. I know it didn't last for too many years, but I always thought it was kind of a cool look. Uh, Laurie Boschman, Andy Moog, had a fantastic career. Randy Carlisle. Man, I just, I, I can never get enough of these old Jets jerseys. I think this was like very close to the time where they uh, went uh, away from these and kind of to a more modern look. Might have been like a season or two away from that. But uh, yeah, I always like those sweaters. And this looks like Wendell Clark, and it sure is. That is a nice, nice card. Again, these, you know, these Leafs jerseys too. I, I kind of liked the, uh, the white on the, uh, like on the shoulders down the arm. But that was, I guess, kind of like an 80s, early 90s look. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a nice-looking card. All right, so that was, that was a pretty awesome pack there. And we have a Cam Neely. I guess this might have been when they, after they had eliminated the Whalers in the playoffs the previous season, since they look like they're in a line shaking hands. Now we have a Mike LaForest, Rich Sutter, one of the many Sutter brothers. And we have an Art, Tro Art Ross trophy winner, sorry, of Wayne Gretzky. That's a nice card. Uh, Luke Richardson, Rod Langway, who is in the Hall of Fame. I had um, one of uh, one of our recent videos. We had um, uh, somebody was kind enough to point that out to me, so I appreciated that. And this looks like Essa in, and it sure is holding up the Stanley Cup. That looks like Pat Flatley. It's not Pat Flatley, it's Brent Sutter. I apologize. I don't know why I thought that was Pat Flatley. This was like just before he was traded to the Blackhawks. Doug Smale. Craig Janney, who looked like he was gonna be all world when he first broke into the league, but he really kinda just leveled off. I mean, he had a decent career, but not the uh, prolific point producer that he was uh, when he initially started playing. Brent Hughes, and this is David Volick, and I believe this actually is David Volick's rookie card, even though uh, he played uh, a lot of games the year before. I think I was reading that this actually is a rookie card of his. All right, so we'll do, uh, I guess we'll do the two more that we pulled out here. You know what? I'm sorry. I had Islanders here, and I did not pull them aside. I don't want to have to go searching for them again later. I like to highlight them. All right, we have Bruce Hofert, Doug Lidster, who actually went on to play with the Rangers and won a cup with them or won the cup with them in 94. This looks like another Gretzky card. This is pretty cool. Yeah, collector's Choice. This is the King's Checklist. I did not remember that the portrait cards like those were actually the team checklists. Uh, Glenn Anderson, Tim Shevelday, Bob Corkum, Yari Curry. We can't have a break without finding Yari Curry. Not that that's a bad thing. We seem to always find his cards. Doug Gilmore, still with the Flames. That's nice. That's a really cool card. Uh, Tony Herkic, Greg Millen, and I guess this will be a Blues team card with Brett Hull featured on the front. That's pretty cool. 
And we have a Phil Housley, another Hall of Famer. And John Tucker. All right, one more to go here. Uh, oh, we got a Ron Francis on the back. That's cool. All right, so we have uh, David Shaw. And this is a Flames team card with Al McInnes. Jeff Brown, Brent Ashton, Grant Fuhr. That's a nice card. Patrick Waugh, another nice one there. Bill Ranford. A full-on checklist. It's funny, it's a checklist and it lists all the checklists on it. Very nice. Uh, Jeff Jackson. I'm just pausing on this because I'm admiring the sweater he's wearing. Oh, this is cool. We got a couple of Ron Francis cards here. That is the Whalers team card. This was actually the year before the big trade that we seem to always find cards of. Uh, Rob Brown of the Penguins, and this is Ron Francis's regular issue card. These are nice. So they have uh, a couple pictures of the guys. Uh, very cool. So nice looking cards. You know, I'll, I'm going to go against what I just said. I think I'll, I'll open two more packs. Why not? I'm enjoying going through these and finding a lot of guys I used to like watching. All right, so we have uh, Gerard Gallant, who has... Uh, Become a head coach in the league at different uh, different points. We have a Mario Lemieux uh, talking about his uh, 46 straight games of uh, at least a goal or an assist. Man, was he good. Not that I need to point that out. This is a nice one. We have a Pat LaFontaine. Of course, this is the Islanders checklist. That's pretty cool. That actually, this card would look really good with his signature on it. <laughs> Another uh, possible piece of encouragement to uh, send out. Uh, we have an Ulf Dahlen, a Randy Velashek, who... <laughs> that is a really funny looking uh, smile there. I guess something was engaging him. This picture also looks like it is at the Old Met in Minnesota. Any uh, North Stars fans out there watching this video, maybe you could confirm that with me, but that completely looks like that. Um, I, I mostly remember, uh, remember Randy Velashek being um, a radio announcer for the Devils along with uh, uh, Mike Miller. I believe that was his name, Mike Miller. Uh, they did the Devils games for years and years and years, and uh, they were uh, quite a crew together. <laughs> they were entertaining to listen to, that's for sure. All right, we have uh, Bernie Nichols, uh, Peter Erickson of the Oilers, Tony Granato. He had uh, uh, several solid seasons. Chris Terreri, uh Marty McSorley, and this looks like Kirk Muller during his uh, Devil's Days. And a Martin Jelena. Who played for a number of teams, including the, uh, the Canucks when they went to the finals in 94. And came up literally one goal short of at least sending game seven to overtime. I'm sure that post that Brett Hedekin hit has been uh, a sore spot forever. Um, so close yet so far. It was a great, great series. It really was. And this is Craig Fisher. Uh, Michael Pavanka. We have another whaler here. I love how those jerseys are just front and center. Uh, Brad Shaw. And we have a Norris Trophy winner with Ray Bork. 
and a draft picks card of Drake Barahowski. Oh, we have a Steve Eiserman. That's nice. That's, uh, that's a, a cool find there. Uh, Darren Poopa, who played for quite a while. I remember him having just really, really big leg pads, but he was, uh, he was quite tall, 6'3". And we have a Claude Villegren of the Devils, Paul Ranheim, Todd Ellick, Donald Duchesne, Brian Propp, who was a terrific player, mostly for the Flyers. And I have no idea what this, oh, we have a hologram here? Oh wow, what's that? Who is that? Is that Gretzky? Um, your guess is as good as mine. I, I, I know on the camera it's got to be really difficult to see who this is. Uh, yeah, that's Gretzky. It's definitely Gretzky. I don't know if you can actually pick that up. Yeah, yeah I guess a little bit there you can see. I wonder what the rarity or odds are of finding one of these. Nothing on the back. Uh, I don't know if this is a sticker or not. I'm not going to attempt to peel it off. That's uh, that's really interesting, and I, I don't know if this is actually worthy of a sleeve, but I'm going to put it in there anyway, just, uh, just in case. I don't r really honestly recall coming across any of these cards, I mean, any of these uh, holograms, I um, I don't remember opening a lot of these cards. In fact, the fact that this box was open and there were only a few packs missing um, suggests to me that I really did not open a whole lot of them. Um, so that's, uh, that's interesting. Uh, you know, like I said, I don't remember finding them. Um, I wasn't even sure if those existed. All right, so these are some of the highlights we pulled out. I, mean, I know we passed some other Hall of Famers that I did not uh, highlight. We got a couple Islanders here. Brent Sutter, David Volick. Uh, that was a nice Gretzky card. Uh, very nice Wendell Clark. Uh, Lady Bing, Brett Hall. Then Brett Hall's uh, regular issue card. And, uh, I mean, obviously our big find here was this... Uh, Ed Bell for a rookie card, and you know what the deal is with this. I don't know. I don't know if this is something that is highly sought after. It's it's really difficult to get it perfectly in the light to actually see that it is Gretzky, but um, it definitely is. Uh, it, 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 like I said, it's a bit of a challenge to get it in the light perfectly where you're able to see it, unless I'm just not doing it well, but. Uh, Standing it up there probably doesn't do it a whole lot of justice. But anyway, uh, this video has gone on longer than I think I had planned to do, so um, I apologize, and I thank you for sticking with us for all this time. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, please like and subscribe. It helps uh, us, obviously, to continue to grow, and uh, it supports the channel as well. Uh, so we thank you for doing that. And... Uh, Thank you again for joining us here. I certainly enjoyed opening these. It's always fun looking at uh, uh, all these uh, older guys. So um, uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and we will see you, uh, I guess, on Thursday. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, take care, guys.